NFL Top 5, Bottom 5, after week number 7. Brought to you by Juniga, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six awesome sports books down there. Go check out more information on them over at tunicatravel.com. Let's jump in. Start we doing 32? Yeah. All right, 30, 32. We'll start with that. Who you got at 32? No other choice but the Raiders. See, I got another choice. No, you don't. See, your choice is wrong, though. My choice is not wrong. My cho- okay. I'm telling you. All right, so you got the Raiders. I got the, the Cardinals. Raiders. I got the Cardinals at 32. Look, they got to win over the the 49ers who turned the ball over five times. Correct. But in that game, the Cardinals only had like 200 yards of offense. Like, they didn't turn it over. But, my goodness, the Cardinals did turn it over against the Broncos and got smoked. Who do you think will be favored right now if both those teams played? Uh, currently, because the Cardinals are at home, the Cardinals are a one-point favorite. Now, the opening line against was a the 49ers. Who do you think would be favored if the Raiders and the Cardinals played? Uh... Man, I think it depends on where it is. I don't know that it I matters. think there's only a couple of points difference. Because I think, my, they, my can Raiders, play, I think they, they can play in Oakland and Arizona would be favored. I don't I agree think the with Raiders that. are that level bad. I got the Raiders at 31. I think they're full 76 in it. And that might I, be. But, like they so, get rid of Amari Cooper. So like if, they're, if, they're, if they're going in full-on tank mode. But Amari you, Cooper wasn't that good him, anyway. No, he's not. You're exactly right. They just stole a first-round pick, but. That's their third first round pick this year. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, you got to draft them, and then you got to develop them. And we'll see if fifty percent of the first round picks are bust. Yep. So, at at best, they will be two out of three. And I don't know that there will be that. Well, that's what it said. At best, who you got for thirty one? Thirty one. That's what it just said. I got the Raiders at thirty one. Okay. I got the Bills at thirty one. So I don't even have the Cardinals there because. I watched Derek Anderson play, and he wasn't a whole hell of a lot better than Nate Peterman. No. I no. think there were parts of Sean McDermott that wanted to put Nate Peterman back in that game. Well, it, because Anderson threw three interceptions that's against the Colts. Bad. I mean, that's it was just – it, yeah, that's it was terrible. If there was ever a team that needed to – Derek Anderson's stat line, by the way, 28 or 20 out of 31, 175 yards, three picks. Nice. Woo. That's if it, and and this team traded Tyrod Taylor, and then traded AJ McCarron. Like Ty, Tyrod's available right now. That's it's so AJ McCarron probably is too. My God, like he he AJ McCarron got injured, and they traded him to Oakland before like, he got they, injured. He got beat out for that job. It, you can talk about it, look, Gary. He I, got beat, no, I, I understand that. Boy, no, no, no. I understand that. that I understand that. But look, here's the deal. Nate he wasn't Peterman? even second string. Nate Peterman outplayed him in preseason. Nate Peterman outplayed Josh Allen in preseason. Nate Peterman outplayed everybody in, in preseason and in practice. You get that boy in a real game, it is a whole different deal. Just telling you. Ty Rod's I, I'm there. not saying that A.J. McCarron is great. Just send that third-round pick right on back to Cleveland. <laughs> you can have it. Yeah, I, I think the uh, Browns might need it. My 30th is the Cardinals. Now now I've got Arizona there. My 30th is the Bills because I just can't imagine it being any worse than it already is. And I think that that defense and running game, so long as Sean McCoy is good and everything's good to go, I think they could beat the Raiders and the Cardinals. Mm, I don't know, man. I think I think the Cardinals, if they keep the team the way it is, intact, they don't start trading away pieces. I think they're better than both those teams. Neither. Well, and, and Josh Allen's going to come back at some point. Yeah, and that's, he, and that's he was it. Well, I mean, he might not right. even miss tomorrow, no, this week. So, yeah. you know, it doesn't. he might not have to come back from anything. He might just play. Yeah. He's the better quarterback, and that's not questionable. <laughs> Which is, that's saying something. All right. My 29, I, I argued so hard for them to not be in the bottom five last week. I think I got to put them in there as the Giants. I got the 49ers at 29. They have so um, much talent, and they just don't know what to do with it. God, I, I, they cannot get out of the way. It, they just play one of the worst defenses they're going to play all year, and they score 20 points. Which is, and one of them was a garbage time touchdown. That, 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 which which score, got well, you the cover, by the way. Any of them are garbage time touchdowns. They're trying to win the game. I mean, well, I mean I, I'm with you, but like it, the Falcons were obviously in prevent mode. Yeah. Like it, there's, there's a difference, right? So, you know, uh, you give up one of those late touchdowns, you're up by two scores. Like, to the Falcons, it's like, eh, you know, all right, we'll give up a touchdown. 
Uh, my 28 is the Giants. Okay. Like, I, I do think that the Giants could beat the 49ers, the Bills, the Raiders, and the Cardinals. And they might could. And I've got the 49ers like, I think, 28. I think the Giants, like, part of this is they have played a pretty difficult schedule. It's The Falcons are not great, but, like, the Falcons got talent. And you had to play them on the road. And if you look at all the other teams that they've lost to, you know, the Cowboys, no, they're not great, but they played them in Dallas. Uh, they played the Panthers on the road, and they were within, you know. Well, the a, Panthers a, are a good team. Yeah, and the they Falcons were within a 60-yard field goal away from. And I'm not saying the Falcons are great. The Falcons have the worst. They have one of the worst defenses in all of football. And you okay. score 20. So the Giants get, get thrashed at home by the Saints. That happens. That happens to everybody. Saints, Saints are one of the best teams in the league. Um, but, I mean, if you look at who they've been beaten by. Like they they are the last team to beat but the, look at uh, the, the Texans. Only, but look at the wins that they've got. Yeah, they they, they got one the, win. They beat the Texans. Yeah, God. they got they got beat at home by the Jaguars before they fell apart, and that was even a close game. But like you lose to the Jags, you lose at the Cowboys, I, you lose. I just uh, can't understand. They lost to the Eagles with, on Thursday night. Odell, Saquon, Ingram, like the offensive firepower that they have, they can't score points. Now that's, at, is that on Eli or is that like a coaching thing? I don't. I don't know the answer to that. I'm, I I think it's a coaching thing. I don't think Eli is as bad as people like everybody's making him out no, to be. No, but I, but I don't know that it's all not on Eli either, though. Well, I think he. I think he makes some pretty questionable, but not even questionable, just bad decisions from time to time. But either way, uh, who who'd you get at twenty eight? Twenty eight and forty nine ers. Forty nine ers. So we got the same bottom well, we've five. Got it's just all the same order. bottom five, different order. You'll get <laughs> Which, you'll get the Raiders there eventually. That's uh, well. I mean, I got the Raiders at thirty one. You you'll, know. You'll, get them, you'll get them there eventually. They, they might be there after this weekend. They should be there. We'll see. Uh, who you got? Uh, let's see. Are we doing one through five? One, like five, two, I think, is where we'll have the most. Uh, yes. One, two, three, and four. I don't even know that we're in different orders. Now, maybe. I've got the Rams. You got the Rams and the I got Chiefs. The, I got the Rams one, Chiefs okay. two, Pats three, Pats three Saints, Saints four. four. Okay. We are. That is not changing unless somebody blows our hair back. And I don't have a lot to blow, so you just got to figure that out. Now, at five, I really – I thought really hard about putting the Chargers in here. Man, I did too. But I, I – I did too. I couldn't do it because, like, they were a, a bad play call by the Titans away from, from losing last week. But even then, like, you want to talk about a body clock game? That game started at 8.30 Central Time, 6.30 Pacific Time. Like – that's crazy to send a West Coast team I, over there. I can't, but every year they send a West Coast team. We talk about this. I don't under, There are plenty of East Coast teams that you could send to London. Nope. We're going to send somebody as far away as humanly possible. Which is, like, I can understand why they would send the Chargers because. Well, yeah, they have no home. No home field advantage. Yeah, like, no, they, they, nobody they cares where they play. Yeah. Um, yeah. So who did you pick for five? Five, I put the Vikings in. I have, I can't believe that. I have the Vikings too. I want it <laughs> just so, so that bad. y'all know we, we don't, don't talk about this. No, we don't. We don't go over any of this like, stuff. We just try to see how we file. We we make our lists and then we we, we know our top four. That's not changing. I I was man. I tried really hard. I thought about putting the Chargers as well, but the Vikings three straight wins. They absolutely obliterated the Jets last week. They are doing what we wanted from the Vikings. Kirk Cousins looks really, really good. Man, that was a hell. Man, people thought that they overpaid for. I don't know that they overpaid for him at all. No, I no, think he is worth exactly every what they paid for. Pin. If they can figure out a way to get that defense rolling, now I know he looked good against Sam uh, Darnold. And they made him turn the ball over like nineteen times, but at some point in time, they got to do it against a good quarterback. This was a really good defense. And they'll have the chance this week. Yeah, I mean we'll we'll see. They they beat the. Uh, I mean, do do you just if they beat the Saints at home, do you just move them above the Saints or you like flip does flop it, those? I, I mean, you can't put them above the uh, the Pats, can you? No, and Ooh. you can't put them above uh, the no. The, 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 pa- know, the I was Chiefs, just about or? to say the Pats don't have a win that good, but they do. I mean, they beat the Chiefs, and the Chiefs are an unbelievable team right now. Um, yeah, I but think, that that game was super close. It was in Foxborough. It can't really move the Chiefs out right no. now. Like no, maybe you could maybe you to. could flip those two, but like I, just, I would just the only thing you could argue is to flip them but let's wait and see how the game plays out all right that's gonna wrap up our nfl top five bottom five for week number seven